Hey guys, this is Jamin, uh, bringing you a uh, key repair video today. Acer Chromebook, uh, C3, I'm sorry, C730 series, also a C730E series, uh, it's referred to. We're going to show you how to replace a large key today. Uh, many times it's better to replace a key on this model versus an entire keyboard uh, because if you lose a key, if one breaks, this keyboard is only held on by little plastic rivets underneath, not screws. So in order to take this keyboard up, you have to rip it up, break all the rivets, um, and to put another one on, it'll never be very secure. So uh, if you want to replace a key on here, uh, we'll show you how to take one off. If let's say you've bought a used keyboard to salvage a key from, and then we'll show you how to put it back on. Um, if you're looking for a normal size key, a letter key, the link will be in, in the description. This video is, is for the large keys because they, they look very different uh, to what's underneath. So we'll zoom into the space bar. That's the largest key. We'll give you an idea of what you're looking at under there. Uh, you're gonna want a small flathead screwdriver. We're gonna slide the screwdriver underneath the key cap, which is this top part, but there's uh, retainer clips, probably one here and probably one here. We're gonna try to hold that down so it doesn't break when we pull this up. So go slow, feel it out, because you can't see. And I'll show you what it looks like under here after we get this up. Now keep in mind, this is a long key. Uh, this is an older model, so this key is going to be dry and long and, and it could break. So try not to bend it too much. So we'll pop this thing up. Get, there we go. Sounds like we got it. All right. All right, get on here. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so... This is what it looks like underneath. Yeah, you got two retainer clips, one here, one here. You got the rubber component in the middle. This is what pushes the key up after you've pressed it. Uh, try to leave that alone. Hopefully that's not broken off. That's only held on by glue and they're very hard to get back on um, if it breaks. Uh, then you have these metal stabilizer bars. You got a big long one coming down here, big long one up top, and then two in the middle. I'm gonna take the long one up top off. Um, you know what, I'll, I'll leave it on and I'll show you why later. Um, so this is what you're looking at. Now, these metal stabilizer bars are easy enough to take out. Um, this one just slides right out like that and then just slide it back into the hole there, slide it back into the hole here and it just sort of lays there. This, these ones in the middle, they just stick in the middle um, just to give it some firmness. And this top one kind of does what that bottom one does, but it slides into the things on the, on the bottom. So they're pretty straightforward. Um, as far as these retainer clips, this is the hard part to get off. This is very thin plastic and it usually breaks when you try to take it up, so be very careful. I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'll show you what it looks like after we get it out. Um, this is laid out pretty much the same as any retainer clip. Um, they get two metal pins on the bottom two corners, two metal pins on the top. You're looking for the metal pins that are closest to the edge. Oftentimes it'll be the top, but in this model, it's the bottom. So what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to push down on the retainer clip as much as I can, even though it's tight in there, there's not a lot of room. I'll push down and I'll slowly try to um, pry up the plastic part that's under the metal clip. And if I get it up without breaking it, I'll, I'll, I'll show you why it's so hard when I get it out. But just push up. There you go, let's move this out of the way. Next one. Okay, so, Did, didn't break it, thankfully. Move this thing over to show you there. All right, so this is your clip. As you can see, right here, there's a thin metal piece of plastic there, thin piece of plastic here. The, these are the two things that the metal clips were holding down. Very, very thin plastic. So if we didn't pry that out from under the metal well enough, these would have just snapped right off. And that's definitely where you'll break it in this process if, if you do. So go nice and slow there. So to put it back on, so now we've shown you how to take this key off. To put it back on, put that same part down first, the bottom. So put the bottom down first, get it laid in there. And once those two corners are snug underneath, just push on the top and it should snap in. Just like that. Now this part is tricky. I do this a lot so I have a good feel for it. It may take you a few tries. The, these metal stabilizer bars don't snap in anywhere. They just kind of hang loose. So try to get it centered. Uh, try to get it where it should be. Same thing up here. 
and then these slide in to those holes on each side. And then once you get that centered-ish, um, as well as you can, push down and hopefully the whole thing snaps in. All right. And as you can see, that, that, that was a little hard. You had to get everything just perfectly centered for it to snap in. It, it may take you a few tries, um, but that's how, how you would do that. So um, if this was helpful, please like and share. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them down below. Uh, also, check out the frequently asked questions in, in the description. It may save you some time. And uh, again, if you wanted the smaller keys, uh, check out the link in, in the description to that video. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed Do It Yourself Computer Pair, please subscribe.